Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when Bluetooth is not working on your Windows 11 computer. Now the first step is to go ahead and restart your computer. So go to the start menu, then click on the power icon and then click on restart. And after the system restart, you can go ahead and try to connect your Bluetooth device. Now still you're facing the problem. In that case, you can go ahead and make sure that the Bluetooth is enabled in your system BIOS. So start your computer. So first of all, you have to go ahead and shut down your computer. Now, once your computer is completely shut down, restart your computer. So start your computer. And as soon as you start your computer, keep on tapping the F2 key on the keyboard to go to the system BIOS. Now, the F2 is valid for Dell computer. So if you have different brand like Lenovo, HP, whatever brand you have, just make sure that you keep on tapping the BIOS key on the keyboard to go to the system BIOS. And after that, find the Bluetooth option in system BIOS. And if Bluetooth is disabled over there, go ahead and enable it. And then you can go ahead and try to connect your Bluetooth device. Still, you're facing the problem. In that case, you can go ahead and run a Bluetooth troubleshooter for this. Go to the start menu, then click on settings to open Windows 11 settings. Or you can make a right click on the start menu and then click on settings to open Windows 11 settings. Now, now under the system over here, scroll down here, you can see troubleshoot option. Now click on troubleshoot. Now click on other troubleshooters. Now find Bluetooth. So here you can see Bluetooth and then click on run. And once the troubleshoot is complete, try to connect your Bluetooth device. Now still you're facing the problem. You can go ahead and start Bluetooth support service for this. Go ahead and type in services in Windows search box. Now click on services app. Now find Bluetooth support service. Make a double click and then Make sure startup type is set to automatic and then click on apply. And if start is highlighted, click on start, then click on OK. With this selected over here, click on restart the service. And then click on yes. And you can also start all the Bluetooth services over here. Here you can see Bluetooth audio gateway. If you don't have it, you can skip this step. Make a double click. You can go ahead and select automatic, then click on apply. If start is highlighted, click on start and then click on OK. And then with this selected over here, click on restart the service. And that should go ahead and fix the problem. Now still you're facing the problem. In that case, you can go ahead and update your Windows 11 for this. Go to the start menu and then click on settings. Go to Windows update. And then click on check for update. And once the update is installed, restart your computer and then check the Bluetooth device. Now the next step is to repair iTunes. Now this has worked for many users, so it might work for you. So if you have iTunes installed on your computer, then go to start menu, open Windows 11 settings, go to apps, and then click on apps and feature. Now over here, you can go ahead and find iTunes. So in the search box, you can go ahead and type in iTunes. Now click on this three dot over here in front of iTunes and then click on advanced options. Scroll down here. You can see the repair option. So click on repair. And once the repair is done, you can go ahead and try to connect your Bluetooth device. Now the next step is to update Bluetooth driver from the device manager. So open device manager, make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager. Now expand Bluetooth. And then make a right click on your Bluetooth device over here. So just make a right click on the adapter and then click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers. And after the installation, you can go ahead and check. Now still you're facing the problem. In that case, again, make a right click on the Bluetooth device and then click on update driver. Click on search automatically for drivers and then click on search for updated driver on Windows update. And it will go ahead and load Windows update. And if there is any update for Bluetooth driver over here, it will go ahead and update it. Now, still you're facing the problem. In that case, again, expand Bluetooth, make a right click, then click on update driver, and then click on browse my computer for drivers this time. And then click on, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. And then you can go ahead and select if Realtek or it might be Intel Bluetooth, whatever is your Bluetooth device, you can go ahead and if this is already selected, you can go ahead and select the other one and then click on next to install it. Now, if this one is selected, you can go ahead and select 
the other driver and then click on next and after the installation you can go ahead and try to check the connection now still you are facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and roll back the bluetooth driver now in case if you don't find bluetooth in device manager you can skip this step you can also skip this step if you don't find bluetooth option in device manager so for this step make a right click on the start menu then click on device manager to open device manager and then expand bluetooth once again and then select your bluetooth adapter make a right click then select properties and go to the driver tab now if rollback driver option is available over here if it is highlighted most of the time it will be grayed out in case if it is highlighted like this you can go ahead and click on rollback driver and then after installation you can go ahead and try to restart your computer and then try to connect the bluetooth device now the next step is to uninstall bluetooth driver and then restart your computer now for this again open device manager make a right click on the start menu then click on device manager and this time expand bluetooth and then make a right click over here and then click on uninstall device then put a check on the box which says attempt to remove the driver for this device or delete driver software and then click on uninstall now after the uninstallation you have to you have to go ahead and restart your computer so copy uh, close this device manager go to the start menu then click on the power icon then click on restart and after the system restart during the system re restart windows will install the default driver for your bluetooth device so i just restarted my computer so after you restart your computer you can make a right click on the start menu and then click on device manager and the bluetooth should be back once again so you can go ahead and expand bluetooth and here you should be able to find the bluetooth adapter and then you can go ahead and try to connect your bluetooth devices now still you are facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and install bluetooth driver from your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have hp computer go to hp if you have lenovo go to lenovo website so whatever is your brand go to your system manufacturer website and then you have to go ahead and download and install the bluetooth driver from your system manufacturer website i'm showing for dell so i have a dell computer so i'm going to dell website go so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number go to drivers and download and then find the bluetooth driver so once you select your model number you can go ahead and find your bluetooth driver and then click on download and after the download you can go ahead and install it run the exe file install it on your computer and then restart your computer and then that should go ahead and fix the problem now in case if you have intel bluetooth device in my case it's realtek so in case if you have intel in that case you can go ahead go to intel website the link is provided in the video description you can find this link in the video description open this link here you can see intel driver and support assistant and then click on download now and once the download is complete run this exe file and then click on agree and then click on install click on yes to allow let the installation complete now after the installation you will see the launch option so click on launch and it will open a browser and then it will start scanning your computer so here you can see it's scanning your computer in my case i received this message which says your intel drivers and software are up to date in your case if there is any update required for your bluetooth it will go ahead and show you the install option select it install it on your computer restart your computer and then you can go ahead and check your bluetooth connection now still you are facing the problem in that case you can go ahead and perform system restore for this you can go ahead and type in system restore in windows search box and then click on create a restore point click on it and then under the system protection over here you can see system restore option click on it now select the option which says choose a different restore point and then click on next and over here you will find different date and time so over here you will find different restore point so you have to go ahead and select the date and time on which date the bluetooth was working fine suppose you started facing the problem today you can go ahead and select the time date and time for yesterday or day before yesterday so select a different restore point on which date the bluetooth was working fine then click on next and then click on finish 
and it will go ahead and perform the system restore and after the system restore log into your computer and then check the bluetooth connection now in case if nothing is working you can go ahead and perform a reset so you can go ahead and reset your computer but before you perform reset just create a backup for your data because a reset may result in data loss so just create a backup before reset so to perform reset go to the start menu open windows 11 settings now click on windows update now click on advanced options scroll down over here you can see the recovery option click on recovery and then over here you will see the reset this pc option click on reset pc now over here you have two options one is keep my files the second is remove everything the first option keep my files will remove application and settings but it will keep your personal file the second option will remove everything it will remove all your personal files application and settings and you have to start it from the scratch so you can go ahead and select the option which you want and then you can go ahead with local reinstall click on it then click on next and just follow the on-screen instruction to reset your computer and after the re reset you have to go ahead and set up your computer once again and then you can go ahead and check your bluetooth so one of the steps should definitely help you to get your bluetooth working on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel Now, even after performing hard reset, still you are facing the problem, you are unable to connect Bluetooth device or there is a hardware issue with Bluetooth. In that case, you can go ahead and buy Bluetooth dongle. So you can go online, you can go ahead and buy any particular USB Bluetooth dongle and then connect to your computer and then you can go ahead and connect your Bluetooth. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.